What's up everyone? I'm Blevin Robinson with West Coast Cajun Cuisine and today's video braised short ribs. Welcome to the channel ladies and gentlemen. If this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to cook authentic Cajun cuisine, comfort food, and even a dessert here and there, then go ahead and click that subscription button, click that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Now today's video, beer braised short ribs. And braised is a culinary term that basically means cooked down in a liquid for a long period of time. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to cook these short ribs to fall off the bone deliciousness. So let's go ahead and get to that recipe and then we'll get to the kitchen. We're gonna need at least one pound of short ribs, one yellow onion, one green bell pepper, two sticks of celery, three teaspoons of minced garlic, four tablespoons of olive oil, three tablespoons of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of Cajun seasoning, two teaspoons each of onion and garlic powder, two teaspoons each of paprika and chili powder, one teaspoon each of dried thyme and oregano, three ounces of tomato paste, a 12 ounce bottle of dark beer, two cups of beef broth, and two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. The first thing we're gonna do is heat up about a tablespoon of olive oil on a medium high to high heat. And right when it gets to that part where you can see the oil starting to smoke, I'm gonna lay in my short ribs. And these short ribs have been sitting in the refrigerator in a Ziploc bag. Put a little olive oil on them and some Cajun seasoning and just let them marinate for a couple hours. Uh, you don't have to do that. I just choose to add another depth of flavor. You can season it with whatever you want and marinate them with whatever you want or not at all. But we're going to sear all sides of these uh, short ribs, get a nice color on them as you'll see when I flip this over. That's what you want to see. Now I'm going to start flipping these on their sides and then once um, I sear all sides of these short ribs, uh, I'll take them out, I'll put in the remainder of the olive oil and then add the flour and, and just make a small roux so that uh, we can get this liquid to thicken up here in a little while. Now I'm going to start uh, stirring this roux and kind of scraping off the bottom of this pot as I do. And remember do not stop stirring your roux until you get to the desired color you want which I have achieved here and now I'm going to add my vegetables. And once my vegetables are in, I'm going to stir those around, cook them down for about five to six minutes. I want them to start softening up, and then I'll add my garlic. And once I get the garlic in, uh, we'll give this another mix and let that garlic cook down for probably two to three minutes. Uh, and then from there, I will add the dry seasonings. Now I'm going to add all of the dry seasonings right here, including the uh, dried herbs. And um, once we do that, uh, give it a good mix. Um, and we'll cook it down for maybe another two minutes or so. And don't worry about all that yumminess stuck to the bottom of the uh, pot. Because from here, we're going to add the beer. And I'm using a nice dark uh, beer. And this is going to help deglaze the bottom of the pot. So I'm going to get this beer in here and get it stirred around. And I'm going to probably cook it down for a good... Uh, three to five minutes I want to get this alcohol to cook out of the beer and then I'm going to go ahead and add the beef broth and it's roughly about two cups and once I get that beef broth in there I'm going to give it a mix and then bring it back up to a nice simmer and let that simmer for a few minutes and then I'll add the uh, tomato paste and once I get the tomato paste in there I'm going to go straight to the Worcestershire sauce add that in and uh, once that's in We'll give it a good mix. I want to make sure that this tomato paste is nice and incorporated into this uh, liquid. And then uh, we're going to bring it back up to a simmer. And then now we'll let this simmer for about five minutes or so. And then uh, once we get to that point, I'll start adding in the short ribs again. And uh, I want to get these short ribs submerged into the liquid. And uh, once we do that, I will add the pot and place this into an oven that I had preheated to 300 degrees. And I'm going to let this cook in the oven for probably about two to two and a half hours. Uh, and then once we do that, we're going to pull these out of the oven. 
and uh, you're gonna have a nice savory tender short rib that uh, I like to go ahead and serve over a bed of mashed potatoes garnish it with a little fresh parsley serve it with a salad maybe some red wine and uh, there you go well that's it for this week's video if you like what you saw then go ahead and give us a thumbs up we'd really appreciate it uh, leave a comment down below with any ideas that, that you would like to see in the future um, and I'll try to get those out to you um, next week's video dirty rice and you can tab this as a side as a main dish it's up to you we actually had it as a main course uh, we love dirty rice and if you're interested in learning how to make that then tune in next week so until then